The Goblin's Bride, read by Rahima Johnson. Once, a poor farmer lived with his bulldog and his daughter. His spotted lady bulldog slobbered so much spit from her crooked teeth and barked so loud and bit so mean that he kept her chained out back under a big pink rock with a hole under it like a cave. His daughter was clever, but lazed around and wouldn't do chores and praised and bragged about herself and made her father buy her the brightest scarlet red nail polish and most stylish, fancy dresses and shoes and necklaces so she could make the boys notice and the other girls jealous. People talked about her so much, her fame spread to Goblin Land, and a silly, stupid, ugly goblin prince there decided to make her his wife. Instead of skin, he was covered with snake fish scales and had two small red eyes and a big orange one and dirty green hair that he swirled and twisted up like a sticky ice cream cone to look especially nice and attractive. His tongue was furry blue and split in the middle like a stick with two sharp points and his breath smelled so stinky that when he opened his mouth, wasps would faint and fall from the sky. Nevertheless, he thought he was as handsome as the girl thought she was pretty. He stomped to the forest and pounded on the farmer's door till the poor man let him in. Give me your daughter to marry, bellowed the goblin prince, or I'll drag you all to goblin land and my magician will turn you and her to spiders that I'll feed to my lizard fish. That doesn't sound so pleasant said the farmer. Not supposed to, responded the goblin. Where is she? The farmer was a good man who would never tell a lie or a fib, so he didn't want to admit that instead of doing her chores, the girl was in the bathroom, clipping and painting her toenails to look pretty. So he just said, why don't you look for her out back in the pink doghouse at the end of the chain? The goblin blinked his two red eyes and stared hard with the orange one and grinned his broken green teeth and stuck out his furry blue forked tongue the way most goblins do when they want to look especially handsome. And he shoved the woodcutter aside and clambered out back to stick his head in the rock cave doghouse. When out rushed the meanest, stinkiest, loudest roaring, spit slobbering, spotted lady bulldog that ever was, the farmer's daughter heard the roar so loud she spilled her toenail polish, hurrying to look out the window, just in time to see the bulldog's skull conk the gremlin's noggin, that is, bump his head bone so hard that the gremlin saw so many sparkly stars under all three eyelids that he thought he was in love. So the goblin unhitched the dog chain and rode the she-bulldog back to goblin land where the two of them lived to this very day as king and queen. And when the farmer's daughter heard why the goblin had come to her house, she had a long think and decided not to ever buy any new scarlet red toenail polish and never ever painted her toenails again. The Goblin's Bride, read by Rahima Johnson, copyright 2015.